What is up, guys? We are here for a new series here with the uh, the Fractal Cake team. In this series, guys, we're going to uh, do something new. We're going to review uh, resource packs or texture packs, depending on what you like to call them, um, to give you guys a sense of what all the blocks look like, what the mobs look like, and uh, pretty much everything in between. So Steve has actually slaved away and uh, created a museum of sorts in the house here. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually tour through the house and we'll give you guys a look at all the blocks. And the reason we're doing this is when you look at the different resource packs on the store, uh, a lot of them just do a pretty poor job at giving you a sense of what the uh, the packs actually look like. And so what we thought we'd do is we'd we demo these packs for you guys and give you uh, just a, a chance to look at them. And then once we're done, we're going to actually uh, do a little game where we're going to decide whether or not we're going to keep this pack, whether we like it, we give it a thumbs up, or we're going to burn it to the ground and say, no, don't waste your time or money on it. So uh, without further ado, we're going to get episode one started with a, uh, a fan favorite here. If you've watched any of my earlier videos, you'll you'll uh, notice this looks somewhat familiar. And that is because on today's episode, we're gonna review uh, Pure BD Craft. So that's the name of this texture pack. And we're gonna come on into the house here. And what do we have here, Steve? What's all, what's all this? So I set up all the eight different types of wood that we've got. Um, it's basically everything that you make with it. For the most part, we've got the buttons, the trap doors, the pressure plates, the gates and fences. We got boats on top, doors, a little bit of everything just to get an overview of what each of the different wood items look like. Nice. So we've got oak here, which is the typical. We got spruce. And here's what the birch stuff looks like. You guys will notice the doors all have the different designs, which is pretty cool. We got jungle, acacia. Acacia looks kind of pink. It's interesting. Uh, dark oak. We've got the, some of the new nether wood as well. So we've got the crimson wood, which just kind of looks like a pink or a magenta. And then we've got the the warped wood, which has got that cool light blue color to it as well. So if you want to build stuff out of wood, guys, this is what that's going to look like in the texture pack. And then it looks like here we've got all the different stair options based on uh, what the material is that you want to build stairs out of. So it's kind of cool. There's a lot of... I don't know how recently this stuff came out, but you know, it wasn't too long ago when we were pretty limited with stairs. It was like wood and stone, I think, for the most part. Yeah. And now we've got, you know, the the prismarine stairs, some of the newer blocks like the blackstone and some of those things that are coming out of the out of the uh out of the nether, um which is which is pretty cool. So we got the stairs here. So here's a, a gander at the stairs. You can pause the video if you want to take a look around. And we're going to keep on moving here to uh, all the all the different blocks that you can dye with uh, with the colors. So up top, we've got terracotta. Below that is concrete. And then we got the concrete powder, which kind of looks like sand in this texture pack, really, which is kind of cool. And then you've got the wool and the carpet. And so here's basically what all of those colors look like, starting from white, going all the way down here to pink, which is kind of cool. Next, we've got, what is this? This is all the different uh, terracotta blocks, isn't it? All the different glazes. Yeah, it's glazed. like the unique terracotta. That's right. So here's what this looks like in this texture pack, guys. Some of them, I feel like some of them have designs that make sense. Some others don't. Like that kind of looks like a fish. And a, I see a sword and an arrow and a leaf. And then I don't know what the heck some of those are. But it looks kind of cool. And then over here, we've got pretty much all of the other types of blocks. So... We've got some of the newer blocks again, like the gilded blackstone and the chiseled polished blackstone. Um, we've got a, a gold block there, an iron block, emerald, diamond, lapis, some of the quartz, hay bale, honeycomb, some of the really cool new uh, shroom light blocks, which I think look really, really cool. We've got the different ore blocks. We've got iron, gold, diamond, lapis, some emerald up there. And kind of finishing it off here with some of the other kind of newer blocks. You get the targets, you've got the the bee nests, and what is I think this is what bedrock looks like. Yeah, so bedrock is pretty different in this pack. It's like a really dark black block. It's pretty similar looking to obsidian. Obsidian's like slightly more purple, which is interesting. 
But here's kind of what the the different blocks look like in pure BD craft. And then over here, what we got here, bits? Steve? We got shulkers and beds. Looks like. Yep, shul shulkers and beds, matching colors. Nice. So all the different colors you can dye your beds or your shulkers. Here's what the shulker boxes all look like. It's actually kind of funny. The inventory is purple, no matter what color it is. And then we've got uh, a lot of the. I wouldn't say they're they're not necessarily all new blocks. And we got all the different paintings. So that's one of the things you guys will notice on the different resource packs is that there's different artwork. Um, that's going to be unique to uh, each of the packs. So here's a bit of a taste of what the art looks like in the pure BD craft. Some cool stuff. You got some like nether stuff, some end stuff. It's all like kind of ninja y, which is interesting. I feel like this is like a Lord of the Rings type picture here with Fredo getting wrapped up by the spider. But uh, yeah, we've got uh, a lot of the new uh, like workshop type blocks, the different campfires. We've got a furnace here, a blast furnace, a smoker, a respawn anchor. Got some cool blocks there. And then here, getting to the enchanting world, some chests. Ender chest looks really cool in this texture pack. I've always been a fan of the way that looks. You've got the the barrel, the beacon, the bell. And then over here, guys, we've got some really cool stuff. We've got basically all, what all the sets of armor look like and each of the heads uh, that can drop from mobs. You've got everything from leather to chain to iron to gold to diamond and another right armor looks just really cool. I actually hadn't seen this armor uh, prior to making this video and it just looks so cool. It's got like the one diamond in the middle and on the kneecaps and the shoulders and then yeah, it just looks really cool. Here we've got some of the uh, the different animals. So we've got rabbits and sheep and pigs. And oh, there's an egg in there. That's cool. A mushroom. That mushroom actually looks kind of terrifying. It's like an evil cow. <laughs> <laughs> we've got uh, horses and or uh, donkeys and llamas. Not quite sure what's going on in this box here. Uh, uh, we got a mule, a donkey, a horse, and a llama. Yeah. No, I meant like what they're doing. They're all oh, getting, got it. They're all getting a little crazy. Uh, we've got the skeletal horse and the zombie horse, which both look really cool. I don't know if I've actually seen either of these in survival before. Yeah, I actually don't know how you access them. I only found them on creative. Hmm. There's probably some complicated way of getting them, but let's see. We've got the ocelot, the wolf, the fox, the panda bear, and the polar bear. And... Uh, yeah, villagers look really weird in this texture pack. They didn't used to look like this. And I don't know why... Does this guy even have a job? No, he doesn't. Uh, he's got like a third eye on the top of his head. He looks like an alien. And I'm not quite <laughs> sure why. <laughs> I don't remember villagers looking like this in this pack. But uh, yeah, that's what he looks like. All right, let's through this door, Steve. So this, uh, there's a YouTube channel. Uh, I can't think the guy's name is Riziel, and mm -hmm. he shows a really cool house design. So I use that house design to sort of show off what your texture pack would look like if you have just like a standard survival house. Cool. All right. So we got a little path here with a well. Oh, the chain looks cool in there. I like that. We got a, a wandering villager here. What in the world? <laughs> He's got a different texture pack. He's... Uh, he looks like a cross between Squidward and the uh, the creature that owned Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars Episode One. That's oh, yes. that's terrifying. All right, well here's the house, guys. So we got some wheat on the sides, and we can come up here. We got some potted plants, and then inside we've got the bed and the flowers, and a table and an armor stand. We've got our chest system here. And a wall of furnaces, which is always handy. And then over here, we have a couple examples of what the actual trees look like. So you know, I know you guys saw the what the different wood uh, textures were. But here's what the trees would look like if you see them in the world. So you got spruce and dark oak and birch and a jungle tree and the acacia. And then the trusty, trusty oak tree. So I think all these trees look really cool. I like the way the flowers look. This house looks pretty sweet. Really cool design, actually. I like this design a lot. 
All right, guys. Well, it's the time to make a decision. And uh, if you know anything about this channel or have followed me for more than like the last four weeks, uh, you'll know that I love this extra pack. I think it puts a good spin on uh, on the game and the way it makes things look. I think it it looks great. Uh, you can you can modify the texture pack to different uh, levels of clarity. So how many pixels uh, are in uh, the images. So you can go from like a 32 pixel to a 256 option. And I think it just, it looks great. So I am going to put pure BD craft in the chest for buy. I would recommend you guys get this. Obviously if you're on, if you're on Java, this it's free. Um, let's actually take a quick look at the marketplace and see. It's uh, 660 mine coins. Okay. It's a couple bucks. It's, it's, that's not too expensive. But uh, yeah, guys, I would recommend you buy it. I think it's a great one. It's uh, It puts a good look on the game. So if you like this video, if you want to see uh, what some of the other texture packs or resource packs look like, uh, let us know. And uh, if you guys are interested, we'll make some more videos and uh, show off to you guys again what some of what some of the stuff looks like because you know, some of them are going to be good, some of them are going to be not so good, or at least in our opinions or in my opinions. But um, also let me know if you disagree. If you think this pack looks terrible, that's okay too. But uh, yeah, if you guys uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, uh, consider subscribing. We've got content like this. We have the Cubecraft uh, Let's Play series, tips and tricks, probably a survival series coming at some point here. Uh, so lots of good stuff in the works, guys. And uh, yeah, let us know what you think. And we'll see you guys hopefully in the next resource pack review.